Hey guys, how's it going? Wade Mitch here. Today we're back on Automox getting our bean harvest done. So today you can probably notice my mic quality is a little worse. Uh, I had issues with my headset, so I'm gonna be using my snowball bike until I can get a new headset. So hopefully by um, in the next month I'll have it. I found a nice Bluetooth one. I just gotta make sure I have the money for it when I get paid. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So obviously. I had, I had to speed up harvest here, so we went ahead and switched out for a print 1396. It's a big upgrade, but, you know, it is definitely going to help us not have to run back and forth a million times. We still have the same semi. I'm going to go ahead. The combine is still the same, but it's got some duels, and we upgraded to a 30-foot header instead of the 25-foot. Uh, so that's going to make a really big difference. So I'm going to go ahead and get this powered up. Alright, I get going. I already did a little test run because I just bought this, so make sure everything gets going right and didn't have any issues. Well, I don't think we have too many fields, but I might try to get some of the oats done as well tonight. I'm not too sure what I'm doing with it, but we'll figure it out. Yep, like I said, with this 30 foot header, it's definitely going to be a lot quicker on these strips, especially. Just going up and down them right away, probably three or four passes. It's going to be the max. I thought I'd try to harvest a little later at night, because most of my videos I've been doing have been during the day and everything, so I figured I'd switch it up, do some light harvest. You guys kind of watch the sun go down, I guess. Yeah, we also upgraded the grain hopper on this, so we got quite a bit more stored space. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here and bring down the super liner. Just so I'm not leaving it hanging there. I might actually take it over to one of our bigger fields because this is definitely not filling up that grain cart at all. Alright, so we got. Today we're doing. Okay, so we'll do 26. I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait for the semi actually because I don't know how far it's gonna fill up our uh, grain cart. We might be able to get these two done without the semi and all. But. I also need to figure out the uh, header cart situation because. I don't think I have um, any thing done for the header cart yet. Run over here. I thought I had one, but it might have been for the 25 foot header. Might 680. I don't know which one that is. Let's see. So no, it doesn't tell us. Um, it might be the right one. I guess we'll have to swing it and see. Seems like things are going pretty smooth with the new combine. Definitely a, a long time needed upgrade. I'm not sure if I'm going to get another harvest on this. I might try to squeeze one more out before we start getting some mods in the new game. But uh, it's definitely going to last us even if we do move on to the new game. Probably still standing here for a month or so. Looks like I might get this whole field into one grain tank actually, because I say we're about not half done, but I want to assume it might be. Because if we do two more passes on this and one more on the other end, we got three done total, so that'd be right about half, maybe a little under, but it's not too big of a deal. Don't kill me for the realism, but I'm just going to go ahead and give us some more light here because it's getting dark pretty quick. I didn't think it would get dark that fast, so.
Alright, so we're coming up on the end of this pass. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that all in one pass, but maybe if we go all the way down this end, come back, and by the time we get the whole field done, we'll be right back here, so we might be able to fit this all into one. One tank in the combine here. Also, these fields beside me, I planted some triticale. Yeah. The triticale and some alfalfa over there, I think. I'll have to check in a second when we're unloading, but I went ahead and planted a lot of that stuff so that'll grow over the winter. And hopefully, this spring, we can go ahead and mow that, get some extra feed value, and then we're going to go ahead and plant some soybeans right into that ground. I'm going to try out that rotation, because right now these beans are just growing on the long season, but we do have the ability to grow them short season, so. Figured I'd go ahead and try it, because I really haven't got to try any of that stuff out yet. It's kind of a shame that new game's coming, running out of time, so. Yeah, that's what I was saying right there. We're barely fitting this in. It's going to be the same for down here around the bend and stuff, but it's no big deal. I'm gonna try, I mean, I always say I'll try to get more videos out, but I've just been really busy with school lately and work, but I'm trying my best. I really should have had a video out and I just kinda got lazy, so I'm pushing myself to do one right now and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna go ahead and unload the combine here, I think. I'm definitely uh, <laughs> getting a little full. With that green cart, I'm not uh, I'm not sure the 100% what the volume is on it. Um, 1396, I figure that's like, ooh, I don't even know. So 4920. really don't know how many bushes that would be. If someone says how much uh, 1396 holds in the chat, in the comments, that'd be nice. Cause I'm not really sure. Because I know some cards like the Demco 650 that holds 650 bushels. It's in the name. I really don't know how much this holds. Maybe 960 to 96? Well, no. So then you got the 2596. Don't kill me for going over the wrong side, but it fits. Let's go ahead and get that running so we can take it down to the field. Okay, so 10% is going to be like 120, so maybe like 1200 bushels? Or does it hold like 1300 bushels, maybe? Yeah, I bet you that's it, 1300. Okay, I figured that out. So yeah, we can fit like plenty of this combine in there. Probably get halfway into field 20 before we even have to get the semi out. I'm guessing that might actually fill up our trailer. I don't know how much. Oh yeah, that'll fill up our trailer because this holds 49. That only hurts 38. So we'll have to watch on the uh, level work bank right here, but it's no big deal. It's the whole purpose of bank card anyways. That's why it's 10 times better than the uh, old 650 we had. <laughs> Let's 
go ahead and get it fired back up and let's get chopping now let's see I gotta take care of my cows here in a second because they're gonna be low on food once you get done with harvest and everything just because the season's timeline it's not too realistic but you gotta feed them once per season probably to get them all the way up there go ahead look at this I thought I okay yeah so I can just go up here cuz I had this little path to her oats made but yeah so we got like I was saying we have triticow on four fields five fields down here and then alfalfa planted here I plan to do some more I just haven't really had time to do it so maybe if you guys want to see that I'll go ahead and do a video plowing up these grass fields, planting down some alfalfa so we can do it next year. I guess that would probably be my plan. Um, if you guys want to see it, I'll do one more year on here when the new game comes out just so it keeps something interesting. Because I can't just have, you know, only base game 22 on it. It's just going to be way too boring. It is a good game, but you can't just have that base game map and only that base game map. It just gets... It's a little much for something kind of plain. I really do need to turn on crop destruction because, yeah, realism. I really, oh, I could have just done a strip out here, but it's whatever. got to make room for the grain cart, I guess. And that would have been the logical thing to do, just cut it, but, you know. I guess that's out the window now. Alright, I'm not sure if I ever showed these off. I'm pretty sure I did, but all these trails I made through here just made it a lot easier for me to get around the farm and everything. Alright, let's go ahead and drop the header. Do this first pass so I got some room for the grain cart to park on. Let me go ahead and get a thumbnail here. Let's see what this is going to look like. Hot the FOV. Might have to get the green card in there later. But for now, I'll try that. I'll get some nice screenshots. Alright, let's go ahead and hop back in the combine. Get this first row down. Drop the grain cart down here. Now go ahead and get cracking. Let's see next video though. Gonna be the oats because I've worked on this field for a decent time with the plow and that took a while. So go ahead and do the oats next. Could try to stream it, but I guarantee you it doesn't work. Um Probably just be a video, like I said. It might be shorter, but it's not too big of a deal. Gotta run over this cone of walks. I actually planted that, but. Oh no. <laughs> trying to throw canola in there? What's the deal? There we go. I don't know why that must have been the canola is messing it up. Yeah, I gotta run it through that again. Alright. I'm gonna get the E330, drive it down the field. Yeah, we're only 22% on the grain cart, so that's no big deal. Whoops, that's not what I was planning to do. I'm going to and turn off the toggle HUD. Actually, you know, I'll leave it on because i got to do the time lapse without HUD. But let's see. I'm going to back it up, I think. I just accidentally run over some of the crop. That's fine. 
Let's get on the path here. Honestly, I could probably try to get a well something out here. Let's get the combine facing this way. Alright, excuse the realism. I know, just hyper realistic gameplay here. I get the combine facing more of an angle feel. That's just the art of a thumbnail right here. No one's learning it. Or even back the uh, tractor up here. That's good for the thumbnail, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut the power on here, and I'll go ahead, get into the time lapse. Thank you guys for watching so far. If you like it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. See more videos from me. Maybe a giveaway soon. I don't know what I'll give away. Maybe leave something in the comments if you would like a giveaway. But I hope you guys are enjoying, like I said, and see you in a bit.
All right, so we're finished with our bean harvest here. Go ahead, get unloaded back into the cart. Get our semi all filled up. Say this video ended up being a pretty uh, nice length for you guys. I didn't think it would be long enough, but you know, this field took a lot longer than I thought. Um, sorry, I did hire a worker because I was trying to get some homework and stuff done in the middle of it, but I tried using course place, so it would be a little less sufferable, but you know, I tried generating a course with all three fields and I couldn't get it fixed, so. But it worked, so. Not too disappointed about it. Alright, go ahead, like I said, finish showing up the semi. And get that back. Actually, while we're unloading here, I'll go ahead and. I think I'll get this just because it's nighttime, need more lights. Go ahead get the auger hooked up here. I believe I parked the uh, green deck. Me here somewhere. Hmm. You know what? Actually, it's back in the corner of the shed. I do remember now. Let's go ahead. Yep, there it is. I can probably shut the back lights off just for not blinding myself in here. Back up to it. Go drop this on the auger out front here. Gotta get a good angle for our semi to come up at. Alright. So I lower it. Let's see what's the button pick up. Yep. Go ahead and hook up to the auger. Drive around here. And I believe. I'm not sure the exact angle I had this at. Right, right there. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, I can't really see up top. Looks like we're lined up. Let's go ahead. Bring the semi around. Get our tarp on. Go ahead and get a course place. You can run our combine back while we're unloading here. Make sure. All right, I'm gonna have to probably watch the combine because that's gonna come through there and just wreck our line of bales. That'll be good for a grain cart, though. All right, let's go ahead. Tip side front. Pull up to our. Grind it. Is that gonna? All right, rake it in. Let's go ahead, grind cart. And we'll load course. That one. Yeah. All right. 
right, go ahead and drive course. It should make it all the way back. Go ahead and hop on the combine. We're gonna go ahead and cheat with that one, just reset it back here. Check our global company. We need to bin on this side. This one. So we mean, yep, so that's going through. Alright, now I just gotta wait for everything to get back. So we'll go ahead and just kind of cheat this here. Wait for it to load. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And then get the header back. I think we were really low on fuel. If I hadn't hired that worker, we definitely would have ran out. Seems like the gas guys there. We'll go ahead and park it under, uh, it's not even under, but right beside here. All right, go ahead. Just back it up here. Cut the lights. And I don't think it's supposed to rain, so we should be good for tonight. Just leaving the combine there. Go ahead. Cut off the course play. Just got a few more bushels left in here. We're gonna unload into the semi. We can go ahead. Probably just park this out here in one of the bays in our commodity. I don't really use this commodity, but it's fine. And then that'll be it for today, so let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure to stay here. Uh, maybe support me. Subscribe, like, try to get monetized. Um, but I try to get FS22 here. I haven't pre ordered it yet. Um, I gotta see how much I get paid the next paycheck, but. I'm going to be trying to bring you guys FS22 and FS19 videos still. So, like I said, I hope you've been enjoying the content. Sorry about the little stretch there that I didn't upload, but I'll try to get back into it, like I said. So, you guys have a great day, or night, and see you next time.